my name is anubhav shaijesh i studied at diksha venantu main campus the tests that i wrote are je mains where i got a rank of 2085 je advanced where i got a rank of 390 k karnataka seat where i got a rank of 35 and icer aptitude test where i got a rank of 436 it feels great it gives me confidence that even in the future in any sort of academic difficulties i have a workflow that will work and help me get through it i think uh, among other things the three most important aspects i feel are one is to have conceptual clarity because when all your formulas or results disappear from your minds your concepts will save you second i would say is having confidence in your workflow and not being uh, thrown away by what others are doing and the third i would say is to plan properly to plan ahead what topics you want to cover and what you would like to cover at different uh, durations during your training i think i wrote those two exams mainly because i found the exam patterns to be interesting because kcet requires you to answer a lot of questions in a short amount of time while the questions might be slightly easier your accuracy has to be higher whereas i sir i went towards trying to look for more conceptual questions or more that were aimed towards the pure science side which is why i chose to write these exams i think if i were to pick maybe one from each uh, subject it would be narendra vasti for physical chemistry uh, i would say either erodog or krotog for physics and for math i think different publications have uh, different things to offer for each subject so maybe you would want to look through and uh, pick what you feel is at your level have confidence and don't be thrown off by what the paper what paper is thrown at you because everyone is seeing the same paper and the number one differentiator will end up being how much can you keep your calm during the test i think the first thing would be uh, if they're a good student i'm pretty sure they're already doing this which is understanding the concept like sir said because in your advanced exam if you forget results the only thing that will save you are your concepts because you actually have enough time to sit and derive if required and that is the first thing second i would say is planning properly planning your day planning even two weeks ahead a month ahead as to what portions you would like to cover because that gives you an understanding of your situation that gives you clarity and i think the third thing would be have confidence in your approach just because someone else is doing something different don't try to jump to that don't try to jump between methods because at the end of the day only you know your situation best no one else can be telling you oh this is how much you know and this is what you have to do that is in the end up to you and have confidence and stick to it because then you will be able to accomplish whatever you are aiming for